Hello and welcome to Funky Sheet. I'm Fluffy. You may know me from the Facebook page, but this is my YouTube debut, and I'm here joined by Mega Chris. Hello. You all know Mega Chris. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming Ghostbusters movie, if you can call it that, eh, Chris? Oh, it's a film. We're it, British, mate. It's a film, not a movie, of course. Right. Well, first of all, let's talk about the director a little bit. His right. Name, his name's Paul Feig. Paul Feig, never heard of him. Right, I hadn't heard of him either, but apparently he directed a film called Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids, sounds like a chick flick. It is, I've not seen it, but it looks terrible. Um, he's actually brought on board one of his Bridesmaids cast members, Kristen Wiig. Who... Christine Wig. Kristen. 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 Wig. That's just a made up name. Chris... Kristen Wig. Oh, God, it's spelled with a K and everything. That's it confusing. Is. And she was okay. a, she, she's a comedian, a comedic actress from Bridesmaids. She also done some voiceover work for both of the Despicable Me movies. Um, it's also starring Melissa McCarthy, who starred alongside original Ghostbuster Bill Murray in the movie St. Vincent. And she's also in some TV show called The Gilmore Girls. Right. I've heard of the... Sorry, I had to move away from the camera there. I've heard of the Gilmore Girls. Isn't that like... I, well, I don't know. I've never actually seen it. I'm, I'm not just... sure what it is. I'm guessing it's a bit like Bridesmaids, but split up into 30-minute segments. Okay. <laughs> it's also starring um, Kate McKinnon. Heard of her? No. Well, America has. She's a regular on one of their TV shows called Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's another thing I've heard of but never seen. Yeah, everyone's heard of it, but nobody's seen it. Um, she also done some voiceover work in the fourth Toy Story movie, Toy Story of Terror. Toy uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, made made for DVD um, or TV, I'm assuming. A, a made for DVD and TV um, Halloween special they did for Toy Story. And it also stars Leslie Jones, who's also a regular on Saturday Night Live. How do they compare to the original cast? Well, they don't, to be honest in my opinion it's it's not so much because they're female i'll admit that is a bit off-putting because the ghostbusters were always you know men yeah why did they do that it's like they've started with doctor who they've suddenly decided that time lords can change sex so we might be getting a female doctor because we'll have a female master I'm, just... I'm sure we will have a female doctor at one point but that's a conversation for another video so um yeah the female thing doesn't bother me quite so much it only slightly um it's, it's more political correctness gone mad <laughs> it's more how are they going to fare off as ghostbusters i mean we're talking a bunch of middle-aged women i mean have you seen you know what one is it have you seen melissa mccarthy do you know uh, do you know what she looks like is that the one oh the uh yeah yeah is that one of the ones that was in bridesmaids i know there was a massive one in bridesmaids she wasn't a massive one from bridesmaids she's a massive one in gilmore girls right okay all right i'm not going to refer to her as massive because that may offend her her legion of fans oh god i, I will refer to her as portly and okay. at a guess, I will say she is playing either Slimer or the Stay Puft Marshmallow <laughs> Man. <laughs> or Slimer who eats the Stay Puft Marshmallow <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, I mean, you can't really judge how they're going to portray their characters until you see the film, but I mean, I'm not expecting greatness. Um, generally, I, I don't want to be offensive to female comedians, but I don't find... Um, when when women do comedy, I don't find their deliverance as good as when men do it. No, they're a lot more. Um, from from my judgment, they they seem to be better at reset, receiving comedy because when women all team up and go out and you see them all around, they're always laughing mm. and giggling and taking a joke. But when yeah. it comes to actually doing jokes, I mean, you can tell from the bull crap that gets posted on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. Uh, it's just not the funniest of things yeah. and female comedians as well don't really go with me either there's only Same. a couple i really like it might you know i mean well there, there have been some rumors and things floating around that apparently they're taking a lot of a comedy element out of the movie and it's going to be a lot more darker a lot more scarier ghostbusters oh so 
I mean, Ghost. It's, I'm sure it must have some comedy in it. You can't really have Ghostbusters and take out the comedy element. No, isn't Ghostbusters supposed to be like a family film? So what? Yeah. Are they, so it looks like it might. They might just make it a horror with a couple of funny moments in it. But who knows what they're gonna do? I mean, there was the original um, stories and concepts for Ghostbusters Three by original Ghostbuster Dan Aykroyd. One got turned into the Extreme Ghostbusters cartoon, which I love. Yeah, I um, didn't really see enough <laughs> of that. I'm a bit older than you. I I'm, I'm still remember the real Ghostbusters. That was always a classic. Part. Always a classic. And then one of his other stories loosely got turned into the video game. And um, a apparently he's co-producing this movie, but whether he is or not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It would be it would be nice if if he is. Just, just at least so you see his name in the credits. Yeah, and if none of the original creators of Ghostbusters or you know people that worked on the original film aren't involved in it, then it's going to suck even harder than it probably already will. Yeah. I haven't got um, big, big high expectations for it. Um, from the original cast members, I know Ernie Hudson, who played Winston, really did not seem to like the idea but has recently changed his mind and to quote says phenomenal oh Dan Aykroyd has said magnificent oh and I don't know if Bill Murray has said anything on it um, recently but I know it was stated a while ago that he liked the idea of an all-female Ghostbusters right but I don't know what his current opinion of it is and obviously Harold Ramis who played Egon sadly passed away so he can't give his opinion but mm -hmm. I'm hoping he hates it yeah <laughs> he probably does he's up there in heaven now scanning everything he'd be oh god Egon, Egon would be in, in heaven himself being in heaven yeah with, uh, all the ghosts well I mean with all, all the this spirits. computer technology and stuff <laughs> they've got now he'd scan everything he can actually throw him in the film and catch him yeah Imagine that, catching Egon in the new Ghostbusters movie. But can you imagine it when they put him in the big ghost tank that they keep at the, um, <laughs> that they keep at the thing? It'll be bad. It'll be like a policeman getting arrested and put in prison. Oh, it'll be and Maniac Cop all over again. That won't be good, mate. <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen, just for Egon's sake. Let, let's hope not. Let's hope they don't bust Egon. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, we can't. I can't really give a major judgment of this film until I see it, but... Based on what we know and based on what I've seen and heard of it so far, it isn't looking to be brilliant. It's being released, I believe it's the 22nd of July next year, the same date as Power Rangers. There's already Ghostbusters fans trying to get together online to have all the Ghostbusters fans of old to go and watch the Power Rangers movie instead of Ghostbusters to prove a point. Oh, that's good. I'm like... The Power Rangers movie, that's something we're going to have to look into. We'll, I like me we'll Power look into Rangers. that. We'll look into that, yeah. Um, but that's about all I have to say on the matter. But at least they've casted Slimer. Yes. <laughs> they should have got Michael Bay to direct the movie. Oh, the explosions. Can you imagine it? Slimer <laughs> leaving trails of napalm. Oh, that would be brilliant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't slime people. He would just cover them in napalm. That's it. No one would care about the fact it's a normal female cast at that point. People would be happy. They with that. slide down the Ghostbusters pole, and every time they hit the ground, boom! Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bay should direct the new Ghostbusters. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Hashtag Michael Bay Ghostbusters. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing Tim Burton do it. Yeah. He could. He could. He could do his own. You know, spin on the Ghostbusters theme tune. They'd, all the Ghostbusters would be too anorexic to carry the massive <laughs> backpacks they need. Johnny Depp would be in it. Could he carry a proton pack? They're pretty bulky. That's a good point. He might not be. He's able quite to. a frail geezer, isn't he? He could be Lewis. Remember Lewis from the Ghostbusters film? Which one was Lewis? The nerdy one with the glasses. He lived in Dana's apartment. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say on Ghostbusters. Anything you'd like to add, Megaclis? Uh. Yeah, the the point of the all female cast isn't the thing that's bothered me the most about the recent the news and rumours. It's more about the the complete change in genre. I know you don't want to make a cookie cutter 
remake yeah. of the film yeah. when you do, when you remake in a franchise because they did that with um, Psycho, didn't they? Yeah. They just made it colour and it was going to be exactly the same. It didn't do very well. It didn't interest a lot of people because it lost a lot of the uh, impact and the originality yeah. that the old black and white films had, you know. But I just um, it's it's the whole complete change in genre. It just seems a bit drastic. But like you say, we can't really judge until we've seen it, you know? Yeah, they've used mainly comedic actresses, so it must have an element of comedy to it. Yeah. Maybe a darker humour. Yeah. I don't know, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, brilliant. So, leave a comment and let us know what you think of the uh, news on the new Ghostbusters film. Uh, And follow us on Facebook, because I run that shizzle. Yeah, you'll catch Fluffy on Facebook. He's on there quite a lot, posting funny May Mays and little interesting articles for you to enjoy. We've got Twitter and all that good stuff as well. So, yeah, so comment, share, favourite, subscribe, all that technical wizardry. Like. Like, yes. Doesn't take a second to press that thumbs up button. You know, no. you want to. It makes us feel good as well. It does. It does good things for Mega Chris's ego. Okay, and until we got something else we want to talk about, be good. Keep gaming, keep watching films, and enjoy yourselves. Take care, bye.